Oops. Looks like I forgot to put away my cough drops after being sick last week. Boy, these cherry cough drops are so good. I almost wish I still had my cough. Well, they're just like candy. Of course, Mom's warned me they're not candy. They're really medicine. And you shouldn't take medicine unless you're sick. <coughs> Did you hear that, Dinah? I coughed. So it's okay to have a cough drop. Okay, I admit it. It was a fake cough. But would it really be so bad to ignore Mom's warning just this once? Hmm, I need to think about this. I say, tweedle these whole shoe is three inches from the stake. And I'm sure the referee would agree because I am the referee. Hmm, now where did Dumb's whole shoe end up? Oh, yes. Here we go. This puts the score at D, 18 points. Dumb, three trees. <laughs> so it slipped out of my hands again. I'm getting closer. Dumb, close only counts in horseshoes. D, we're playing horseshoes. And some horse is going to be awfully crabby when he finds his shoes missing. <laughs> it was a joke. A little referee tee hee. Well, this is no joke. I'm going for the goal this time. <laughs> All right! A ringer! I was a lucky shot. Lucky? You should have such luck. And you might if you take a few lessons from me. Well, take a few lessons from me. Hey, dumb, I'll help you out for free. Please note my tossing technique. It's kind of limber, but not too weak. Keep your eyes on the stake. Right foot forward, but keep the back straight. One day you'll get your big break. A ringer! Check out my backhand hurl. How about this overhead twirl? But don't try that one yet. It's one you won't get. You can bet. But check this out. That shows I'm a pretty good teacher of horseshoes. Wow, Mr. Dumb, you just made a ringer. Hi, Alice. We both did. But now it's time to make the game a little harder. Harder? How? We'll just move the line back a little farther. Wow, that's a long way to throw. Oh, it's uh, no big deal. <laughs> mm, that's pretty close. Well, here goes nothing. You weren't kidding. Well, it was a long way to throw. Oh, don't feel bad for dumb Alice. He can beat me at a lot of things. Like, 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 hmm. Can't think of a thing. Of course you can throw farther than I can. You're bigger than I am. It's not because I'm bigger and stronger. It's because I'm, well, better. Oh, we'll see about that. Keep your eyes on this horseshoe. Oops. Uh, I'll get that. <laughs> Where did I throw that stupid horseshoe? I couldn't have thrown a horseshoe this far. Although I suppose D could. Because he's bigger and stronger. Boy. If I were bigger and stronger, I'd show them horseshoe pitching that would knock their socks off. 
Horses don't usually wear socks with their horseshoes. Although, I once saw a little filly wearing pony hose. Cat. Hmm? That tree, what kind is it? Oh, it's a colorful kind. I've never seen a tree like this before. It's spectacular. Mm -hmm. The fruit, the leaves, <laughs> even the bark. Don't please. Never say bark around a cat. I'm talking about the tree, especially the fruit. Well, the fruit's not my favorite shade of purple, but it's kind of pretty. I'm going to take this to the caterpillar. Mm. If anyone knows about this tree, I'm sure he does. <laughs> ah, today, today, I gussy up my garden with a beautiful new plant. <laughs> ah, there you are, Rabbit. Is my horticulturist here yet? Your horticulturist? Oh, your plant expert. <laughs> No, not yet. Oh, I can't wait to find out what kind of new exotic plant he has in mind for my garden. Well, Your Majesty, I'm sure he'll be here any moment. <laughs> oh, what is that awful noise? in the world are you two doing here? Well, didn't you send for gardeners? No, I already have rabbit to rake the leaves, pull the weeds, water the roses. I wanted a horticulturist. The queen... The queen wanted a plant expert, a horticulturist. What would you settle for, a hatterculturist? No, I want a horticulturist. Well... It just so happens, Your Majesty, I'm also an expert horticulturist. You are? Of course. Nobody knows more about plants than I do. <laughs> Hair, the paint. Oh! Right there. <laughs> See? A blue thumb. Isn't a plant expert supposed to have a green thumb? Green? The green is thumb in Wonderland. Uh, all right. Now, what kind of plant do you have in mind for my garden? I'm looking for something unusual, striking, different, exotic. Well, Your Majesty, I was thinking maybe for this corner, a biggest dealius. Oh, yes. Lovely blossoms in the spring. And then for this corner over here, I was thinking perhaps a uh, shoddy a shrubus. You'll love it. It's a very popular plant. Popular? I don't want something popular. I want a plant that's one of a kind. One that's fit for a queen. After all, it is for the royal god. In the royal garden, there are many, many flowers. It's a special spot. I love to linger there for hours. Bring me something charming, a one of a kind. That's the way a palace garden should be designed. A garden that's always in bloom. A garden that smells of perfume. Where you can feel magic in the air. The royal garden, none can compare. Floral, that's exotic. Give me something unique. An impressive plant, like a collector would see. Make it wild and romantic, uncommon and rare. With a bold bouquet that sweetens the air. A garden that's always in bloom. A garden that smells of perfume. Where you can feel magic in the air. The royal garden, none can compare. Hey, what's up? Hi, oh. Dom. Dom, uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I think your pants need pruning. 
Allow me. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I broke this off a tree. The most spectacular tree I've ever seen. Spectacular? As in an amazing sight? One of the most amazing sights I've ever seen. Would you say this tree is one of a kind? Would you say this tree is fit for a queen? Would you say Toivo three times really fast? But first, tell us about the tree. I don't know anything about it. I'm on my way now to see what Caterpillar knows. Oh, because it just so happens that the queen wants a spectacular tree for her garden. Well, if you want to know more about this tree, you can tag along. Oh, all right. <laughs> How do you tag along? Yeah. Oh, what have we here? The leaves look the same, the fruit looks the same, the bark looks the same. Dumb, is this the tree you saw? Yes, that's the tree, all right. What does the book say? Is it a special one-of-a-kind tree? It's special, all right. The book says if you eat the fruit of this tree, it will make you very strong. Really? Like, if you ate the fruit, you could throw, say, a horseshoe farther? You could, at first. Well, but if you were at first, wouldn't you throw a baseball? I mean, in the beginning, the fruit would make you very strong. Strong, all right. But there's a warning here. It says the fruit might also make you very sick. So the fruit will make you stronger, but then it might make you very sick. Sounds like this tree's bite is worse than its bark. There's a warning we'd better heed. All of this reminds me of a story. Once there was a mouse named Mabel who lived with her family in a cozy little mouse hole. There was just one problem. Outside the mouse hole lived a very big, very clever, and very hungry cat. Mama Mouse warned her children, Don't let him fool you. Stay away from that cat. Then one day, Mabel heard funny noises from outside. Mabel peeked out and saw a wonderful mouse-sized amusement park ride. Mouse Mountain? Oh, boy! Mouse Mountain looked like so much fun that Mabel just had to try it out. She forgot all about her mother's warning. Too late, Mabel realized. She was trapped. Lucky for Mabel, her family heard her cries for help, and they sprang into action. Mabel was so glad to escape that she promised from that day on she would never ignore a warning again. Mm. Well, I guess the message of that story is clear enough. It sure is. You shouldn't go on Mouse Mountain even if you're tall enough to get on the ride. How true that is. I think the story was Caterpillar's way of reminding us how important it is to pay attention to a warning. Mm-hmm. Well, unless I miss my guess, and I usually do, this tree will look great in the Queen's courtyard. Just make sure Her Majesty doesn't use the fruit for tall. Caterpillar's right. We have to tell everyone that the fruit from this tree might make you very sick. Even if for a brief, wonderful period, it will make you incredibly strong. Ta-da! Spectacular! It's one of a kind, fit for a queen. <laughs> I can't wait to have this tree in my courtyard. Of course, Your Majesty. Hare and I will dig it up and have it in your courtyard by this afternoon. Oh, perfect! I can't wait to sit in my garden and eat the fruit right off the tree. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 whoa. oh. Uh, there's just one easy. The little thing we have to tell you about this tree, Your oh, Majesty. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you eat the fruit, your mm -hmm. palms might get sweaty, yeah. your mouth might get dry, uh -huh. and you may fall over with the worst stomach ache of your life. Oh, 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 oh. We thought it only fair to warn you. I should think so. Gee, it really is beautiful. Oh, yeah. But I can't have a poison fruit tree in my yard, no matter how spectacular it is. Hatter? Find me another one of a kind tree. Uh, All righty. Wonder if the fruit from this tree really would make me sick. After all, the book only said it might be bad for you. 
Maybe yes, maybe no, but it would make you stronger. And isn't that worth the risk? Maybe I could try it just this once. Stop! Don't eat that! You want to be Tweedledee at horseshoes, don't you? Sure I do. Then eat the fruit. No, don't! It might make you sick. Why don't you stay out of this? I'm trying to get him to do the healthy thing. You mean you're trying to get him to lose another game of horseshoes? He could lose a whole lot more than just a game of horseshoes. All right, break it up, you two. Let me think. I have to decide this on my own. To eat or not to eat, I could say goodbye to defeat. I'd show D that I can compete, and my victory would be complete. To eat or not to eat, the taste of victory can be so sweet. But this fruit could knock you off your feet. Or oh, it might make you a star athlete. To eat or not to eat, this fruit is sure to make me strong. But there's a chance that it could go wrong. Illness is a possibility. But think of that athletic ability. Or not to eat, the taste of victory can be so sweet. But this fruit could knock you off your feet. Or oh, it might make you a star athlete. To eat or not to eat, winning is worth the risk to me. I'd finally be able to defeat D. And you could do it so easily. With one bite of fruit from this magic tree. To eat or not to eat, the taste of victory will be so sweet. I'll show them all at the horseshoe meet. You're on your way to being a star athlete. To eat or not to eat. Wow! I'm feeling stronger already. And I don't feel sick at all. <laughs> but D sure will when I beat him at the next horseshoe match. Wow, curl my whiskers. It's a lingo. And at the new distance, too. Congratulations, Mr. Dump. Yeah. How did you do that? All it takes is a little strength, D. Is that so? Funny, you weren't so strong the last time we played. Well, now I am. Your Majesty, uh, since we couldn't find a one-of-a-kind tree fit for a queen, we made one. Well, it better not have icky fruit on it like that one in the bars. Oh, fear not, Your Majesty. According to this label, oh, uh, this tree is guaranteed to be icky fruit free. Ta-da! <laughs> what is it? It's a weeping willow. A weeping willow? I don't want to wake up every morning and hear a willow weeping in my garden. That's depressing. Mm -hmm. uh... Your Majesty, I believe it's called a weeping willow because the branches appear to be weeping. That tree doesn't actually cry. Oh, this one does. And it's fully automatic. See, this tree not only waters itself, it also waters all the plants in your garden. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Will Her Majesty get wet? Oh, not, not if she uses this. <laughs> Starter set included. <laughs> and your new Weeping Willow is also voice-activated. All you do is speak one command. Command? Ooh, now we're talking. I couldn't command that other tree. Uh, since it is a Weeping Willow, the command word is... We say what? He said, Your Majesty, that that tree will water itself whenever you say the word. <laughs> Weep. Oh, looks like rain. Oh, by the way, Hatter, how do you get it to stop me then? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> yeah. Don't be such a crybaby. Oh, wonderful. Uh, let's take it back to the palace immediately. Oh, that was a short rainstorm. <laughs> Sorry, D. No ringer. So dumb, still in the lead. Yay! Want a few lessons? No. But I'd sure like to know how you suddenly got so strong. Good diet. You know, I'm feeling so strong right now, 
I have a feeling this is going to be my most powerful toss yet. Mr. Dunn, are you hurt? Oh, Dunn, what's wrong? It's my stomach. It hurts something awful. Hmm, maybe his diet's not so good after all. Oh! See? That's why I didn't want that tree in my garden. Even though it's beautiful, it's just too dangerous. I just knew somebody might eat that harmful fruit accidentally. Wait! I have a confession to make. I knew that fruit might make me sick and I still ate it. But why? Yes, why? Well, I got tired of not being able to throw a horseshoe as far as D. What does this have to do with horseshoes? Well, Caterpillar told me if I ate the fruit at first, I'd get stronger, and I did. That's why you suddenly started beating me at horseshoes. But didn't he also tell you that it might make you very sick? Yes, but I thought it would be worth the risk. Worth the risk? Just to win a silly game? Dumb. That's just plain dumb. Well, I guess the warnings are there for a good reason. Well, I'll tell you one thing. From now on, if there's a warning, you won't have to tell me twice to pay attention to it. That goes double for me. Oh! It might seem appealing or otherwise enticed But read the warning, it's got good advice What looks good might turn out to be vice versa And you paid the price You won't have to tell me twice What you swallow is no throw of the dice Warnings are the perfect advice To check things out and make sure they're nice some things can make your eyeballs pop. Maybe make your heartbeat hop. Other things can make your brain flip-flop. So even if it looks just like a gumdrop, it might seem appealing or otherwise entice. But read the warning, it's got good advice. What looks good might turn out to be vice versa. And you pay the price. You won't have to tell me twice What you swallow is no throw of the dice Warnings are the perfect device To check things out and make sure they're nice You won't have to tell me twice Rabbit, I feel a speech coming on Oop, get me my soapbox Size, Your Majesty. <coughs> As Queen of Wonderland, even though I am concerned about your health and safety, I am not going to forbid you to eat the fruit from that tree. After all, somebody's always telling you not to do something. I want you to stay away from that fruit because you know it's not good for you. I want each of you to take responsibility for your own health and just say no. To that fruit. Oh, Your Majesty, that was a truly wonderful soapbox speech. <laughs> so caring. Yes, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> In fact, I, I'm so proud right now to have you as my queen. I could just... Don't say it! We... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Boy, Dinah, I'm putting these cough drops back in the medicine cabinet where they belong. They may taste like candy, but they're not. And I don't have to make myself sick before I pay attention to a warning. 